Hey guys, what can I have here? And before the video starts, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel and subscribing and liking. It does mean a lot to me and it encourages me to put out better, put my best foot forward and get as much good content out as I can. I apologize for the delay between episodes sometimes, but sometimes I don't get a good battle or I start one and there's not enough material to work with or it's really inconcise. So I apologize for the way and thank you so much for sticking with the channel and supporting it. So yeah. Enjoy this video, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to Five here from the Strategy Cantina. And today we're covering the landing at Point Rain. <laughs> landing at Point Rain was the first step in the Second Battle of Geonosis, which took place in 21 BBY between the Galactic Republic, led by Jedi Generals Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Katie Mundi, Jedi Commander Ahsoka Tano, and Clone Leaders Marshal Commander Cody, Commander Jet, and Captain Rex, with Admiral Yularen commanding the Republic fleet. Against the Confederacy of Independent Systems led by Archduke Pogo the Lesser and Tactical Droid TX-21. In the original landing, each Jedi General and their respective clone leader departed in a wave. Wave 1 was led by Obi-Wan Kenobi and Marshal Commander Cody, who from now on I'll just be calling Commander Cody because that's what everyone else calls him. But really his full title is Marshal Commander Cody, but I digress. During that, Wave 2 was launched. That consisted of Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka, Captain Rex and the 501st. They suffered massive casualties, with all their ATTE walkers being destroyed, and then crash landing a few kilometers away from Point Ray. And lastly, Wave 3 was Kerry Mundy and Commander Jet. They too were shot down before they reached the landing site, but some of their tanks, ATTE walkers to be precise, survived the landing. By this point, Commander Cody had made it to Point Ray, with what remained of the 212th Recon Division, which was a sub-branch of the 212th Attack Battalion, and had set up an LAAT gunship in ATTE walker circular formation. His troops. While being attacked from all sides, Cody ordered Waxer and Boyle to go get Obi Wan Kenobi from his gunship, which crashed a little bit away, and get him out before the Separatists could surround it. As reaching the gunship, Waxer and Boyle found only Obi Wan Kenobi and ARF Trooper Trapper as the only survivors. All made it safely back to Point Rain. Meanwhile, Anakin, Ahsoka, and Rex were having a little more trouble. While advancing towards Point Rain, they ran into a giant wall of guns. Though, this was swiftly taken out by the trio, allowing the remains of the 501st to proceed towards Point Rain. Kerry Mundi and Commander Jet were having just as hard a time. After leaving their tanks to make a long trip around a group of mountains, Kerry Mundi took his men through a cave system which would take them closer to Point Rain a lot faster. After entering the cave, they were ambushed by Geonosians, but the unnamed clone battalion nicknamed the Jet Battalion by Star Wars fan, was the most equipped to handle the Geonosians. Flame troopers were brought to the front and burnt the Geonosian attackers to a crisp. Yeah, this can get dark. Try telling me this is a kid's show now. Yeah, it's really not. After running into the remains of the 501st, Katie Mundi and Commander Jet pushed towards Point Rain and assisted Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody and the remains of 212th Recon Division pushing the Scepters back and away from Point Rain with massive assistance from a Y-Wing squadron sent by Admiral Yularen to assist the 212th Recon Division. Anakin Ahsoka then took a squad and rushed the droid factory's shield generator, disabling the turrets as the ATTEs demolished the shield generator itself. After the battle, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kerry Mundi and Commander Cody, as well as the majority of the 212th Recon Division were all evacuated from the battle due to injuries and heavy battle fatigue. The Second Battle of Geonosis would end up being a Republic victory, but it would come at a great cost for Cologne lives, and many more battles would have to ensue.